Oh, are we recording? What's up guys? T-Mart here. Uh, I got a new vlog camera, so this thing's pretty sick. It's a Canon Power Shot. I'm not sure which model, but, but I was looking for a camera that was really tiny that I could whip out of my pocket at any time and do vlogs, and, and I wanted to, uh, to test it out right now. So guess where I'm at? I'm in downtown Atlanta. This is a pretty cool view. If you guys are subscribed to my second channel, you actually saw a vlog from the gym yesterday. But yeah, I just want to show you guys this hotel room because this is absolutely insane and let you guys know what I'm doing today. So check this thing out. This is one of the nicest hotels I've ever been in. Check out my robe right there. I was just king bossing it up, son. Side note, there's actually another one in the closet if you guys want to join me. So we got a, a separate pooping room. And then we come over here. I was listening to some Pandora while I was in the shower. We got a rainfall shower head with this crazy thing and like the, the knob is on the other side of the shower like that's just weird like why would you have a shower that big this door doesn't close and then like this is open and this is open but then this is closed so I don't understand like what's going on there this weird freaking sink that like that's my toothpaste spit as you can see there it's not fully going down because there's just a tiny little crack underneath that which that's where the, the water goes out of so that's kind of weird um, and then over here Comfiest bed in the world right here. Huge comforters, memory foam, as you can see. Try it out, guys. Here we go. That worked well for you guys? Here, I'm coming in too. <laughs> oh, man. So that thing, it's just, it's absolutely nuts. Uh, I had some pizza last night. I was craving some Papa John's and watching some NFL. We got ESPN on the TV. We got munchies that are like freaking 12 bucks a piece for a pack of gummy, gummy bears this big, so I'm not gonna touch those, but they're cool nonetheless. A weird looking light and, and a little kind of casting couch thing here. And, and then there's my suitcase and stuff back there. But anyway, we'll let you guys know what's going on because I got some pretty cool stuff going on today. I hope I'm, I don't know how wide this camera's lens is. I hope I'm in focus here, but anyway, why am I in Atlanta? Well, I'm here with Gunners, and I'm with a couple other YouTubers. I'm with Tucker or Jericho, Ryan or RPM, uh, Sky does Minecraft, which I've never met him before, but he's a really cool dude. We had dinner last night, and a couple of other guys are coming in later today, but, but we're going to Coke. Coke wanted us to come out here to kind of talk to them about YouTube, and you know, just they want to know about gaming on YouTube and things like that, so it's absolutely insane. Coke, like, I've had sponsorships and stuff before. I usually don't get too many sponsorships. I don't like to uh, to kind of sell myself too you know hard, and I don't want to spread myself too thin. But Coke is crazy. Like Coke is a real brand. Coke is like the number one brand in the world, and that's absolutely insane to have Coke hit you up and ask you to come out and talk to them about what you do. So it's just it's absolutely amazing. I want to let you guys know what's going on. Hopefully, I can record from Coke, and it's going to be pretty cool. Like the um, the building that they keep the secret uh, recipe, and I don't think it's this way, I think it's this way, like kind of like over there. You can't quite see it, but the place where they keep the secret recipe for Coke is like two blocks away from here. So, I don't know, maybe I could steal that thing and I never have to work again, I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, we're gonna be going to Coke, it's really exciting. I got a new vlog camera, I wanna show you guys it, and, and hopefully I can record more of some of the cool things I do in life because of you guys. You know, I wanna be able to share these experiences with you guys because without you guys, I wouldn't be anywhere. Like, I went from my mom's basement to Coke asking me to come talk to them. That's just, it, it's absolutely nuts. So, uh, anyway, memory card ran out of space there. But as I was saying, I hope I get to see you guys uh, later today when we're at Coke or doing whatever the heck we're doing. I still don't even know what we're doing, man. I just hopped on a flight yesterday and uh, I'm here now, so it's just, it's nuts. But uh, thank you guys for putting me in this position and, and I'll see you guys later today. All right, so this is absolutely nuts, man. We started off the day and we went to the Coke headquarters and it sucked that it was a kind of a crappy day, you know, it was rainy Atlanta, but but it was really beautiful. Like they had a huge cool front fountain thing and like big security gates. Like this was like a walled armored fortress. They had a beautiful courtyard in the middle and everything like that. But so we go in and security is on point, man. It was crazy. Like every person had to sign in. They had to scan your ID. They had to take a picture of you and print a badge out for you. You had to go through like an airport security scanner thing and you know scan all your items and stuff like it was just it was nuts you know it was really really high security and and then once we got in it was really 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 cool like uh, well, first of all they literally had coke freestyle machines you know the ones where you can pick whatever flavor you want if you want raspberry vanilla you can have it they had those and then coke refrigerators literally in every single room usually two or three in every room like it was nuts and, and you really don't think about it but 
Coke actually owns a lot more than just the Coke brand. Like they've got the Minute Maid brand, they've got the Smart Water brand, things like that. So it wasn't just Sodaville available to us. We had everything from iced coffees to apple juice, but it was just, it was nuts how much we were drinking. We all had a joke. Like we literally had to pee every 30 to 45 minutes. I've never peed that many times in one day because I was literally constantly drinking fluids and I was drinking while I was peeing at the same time. So it was just, it was absolutely nuts. It was a good flush of the system, I guess you could say. But, but yeah, so they showed us their hub room, which this thing was absolutely nuts. They've got all these screens on the wall right here and they're live monitoring Twitter. So if you ever say anything about Coke or about Coca-Cola on Twitter, they're gonna know whether you're talking good or bad or you know talking about having a coke with your McDonald's they see it and they have people constantly in that room just watching so so it's pretty freaking crazy it's Skynet stuff man but um they also have like a world map that follows like trends and, and various things being tweeted across the world so like when Nelson Mandela died they knew about it pretty much before everybody else even before the news outlets got a hold of it and, and this helped them out because, you know, their brand is all about promoting happiness. You know, Coke is all about happiness. And and so, you know, obviously they aren't going to be wanting to put out a bunch of happiness stuff when Nelson Mandela dies. So they kind of shut down that for like 24 hours, you know, however long it was uh, after he died. And it just, I, I don't know, it's just, it's next level stuff, man. It was absolutely nuts. But uh, yeah, we kind of started off the day with uh, a bunch of meetings uh, with, you know, various high ups at Coke. Like it was absolutely insane. We were talking to some of the most powerful people in this company, which was one of the most powerful, you know, companies in the world so these are really important people and, uh, and we we're kind of talking about their business and talking about our business on YouTube and you know how they might be able to get involved and you know things like that and we were all a little bit skeptical because like when you think about something like that when you think about talking to really powerful people and one of the biggest companies in the world you think about like really boring suits who are all business and just you know blood sucking leeching personality like just awful people but they weren't at all. Like all the people that we talked to were all really cool. Uh, some of them had passions for gaming. Others didn't really, you know, know about gaming all that much. But they weren't, you know, against it. And it was, just, it was really, really cool. Like they were all normal people. They were all cool. And it was fun. We were all joking around half the time. And it was just, it was really, really surprising. Because again, I was expecting people in suits. But these guys were just normal guys. Which was, uh, which was pretty cool to see. Now, after we did some meetings, they actually took us down to the archives, the Coke archives in their, you know, corporate headquarters in Atlanta. And, and it was absolutely insane. Like this room has not, you know, been seen by that many people. You know, there aren't many people in the world that have seen this room and I'm one of them. And it is so, so cool because in this room, they have literally every single piece of Coke merchandise ever made like every single piece of advertising every single bottle every single stick of gum every single portrait every single you know music record literally everything that coke has ever had is in this room and they said the room is valued at like 80 million dollars or something like that so i mean it, it was just absolutely nuts you know we were sitting on american idol couches i held the 1992 uh, olympic torch thing we were you know looking at the first coke bottle that had been in space we were you know they had the surge drinks in there if you guys remember surge from the 90s but you know there's just like rows and rows and rows of this stuff all the rows moved like it was just it was absolutely nuts how much stuff they had in this room and how much history it was in this room you know we were looking at things from the 1800s you know coke was still around back then so it was just it was crazy man like it was absolutely nuts now uh one thing that i absolutely had no clue about and this literally blew my mind and i think it will some of you guys too coke made santa like, Coke was the one that made the current day Santa. Santa Claus was around before Coke came along, but Coke was the one that gave him the red suit and the red hat and made him a big, you know, jolly old big fella. That Santa that we know of today wouldn't be around if it wasn't for Coca-Cola. You know, you can look online, you know, Google it. The old Santa, like, some of them were, like, skinny. One of them was, like, a weird elf-looking creature. Like, it was just absolutely nuts. The Santa that we have today, the good jolly old fella that we all know and love, is made by Coke. Coke was the one that kind of created him uh, with their advertising. So that's absolutely nuts. I had no clue about that. And, and that's pretty crazy. Now, after we went through this archive room, uh, we went to the world of Coke. And this is like a public museum that, uh, that Coke has made that's, um, you know, again, in downtown Atlanta. And anybody can know this. So if you're ever in Atlanta, I highly recommend it. It was really, really cool. You get to kind of see the whole story of Coke, how it came about, when it changed hands, you know, how the recipe changed and things like that. Like at one point, Coke was sold for like $2,000 or something. Like it's just absolutely nuts to kind of hear about how this company uh, came to be. You get to see the vault where the only paper 
paper copy of the secret recipe is held. And it's actually in this vault. Like, it's not just like a, a fake thing, you know, just to get people all excited. It's actually in there, which is pretty cool. And, and check this out right here. And there you <laughs> have it, folks. The vault that contains the only written copy of the secret formula. Please do not cross this red and white line, or it will sound off the alarm. Do it, Matt. It's always going to be. <laughs> okay, I'm allowing you to take pictures for the next 60 seconds. Again, thank you for joining us here at the World Can I try Coast my hand? Sky, you got to go. Sky, you got to get a picture up there. Everyone does. Get it, Greg. Get Everyone it. crossing the red line. Get it right across the way. Everyone is there. Oh shit! <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, we were all messing around with it. But uh, yeah, after that, we got to go and see the uh, the mini Coke plant that they have in there. Like everybody that goes to this museum gets a bottle of Coke that was bottled that day at the museum. Get to kind of see how they're made, you know, everything that goes on. That was really interesting to me. It was it was machine prawn, man. It was really really cool. <laughs> And, and then at the end, we got to do taste testing. So they had various Coke flavors from around the world, you know, different Coke products from Europe and from Asia and from South America and all kinds of things. Like my favorite was Inca Cola. This stuff was literally the best thing I've ever had. I absolutely loved it. And I wish they could offer it here. Like there's, just, it was cool to kind of taste Coke from around the world. Cause you know, it, it's literally everywhere. Like they told us that uh, in Africa, the, you know, obviously AIDS is a big problem there and they have AIDS trucks out there to help people and they, you know, bring medicine to people and things like that. Well, Coca-Cola goes farther into the remote regions of Africa than the AIDS trucks do to deliver Coke. So they also bring AIDS medicine along with them and clean water and things like that. Like it's just, it's absolutely nuts. Coke is literally everywhere in the world. It's the, the most recognized brand in the world. Like 96% of people in the world know what Coke is. And it's like the most recognized word in the English language besides the word okay. Like it's just, it was absolutely nuts. And it was a, it was a really cool experience. Like I just, I really enjoyed it. Again, I wanted to share it with you guys because you guys put me in this position. You know, uh, I went from gaming in my basement to meeting with some of the most powerful people in the most powerful company in the world. Like it was just, it was absolutely nuts. It was an awesome experience and I'm happy to share it with you guys. So, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Got a bunch of great videos coming soon. Thank you so much to Gunners and Backplane for making this happen. I'm gonna link everybody's Twitters and stuff down in the description. All the guys that I went with, you know, Drome ASF, Beijing Canadian, Jericho, uh, Sky Does Minecraft, RPM, all those guys. I'll link everybody down in the description. Make sure you guys check those guys out. And, and then of course, Big thank you to Coke. So I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace out.